Hey, everybody. You are about to hear a brief retelling of the movie Thinner. Enjoy the movie. Billy, a lawyer in Connecticut, sees a gypsy caravan approaching town through the window. He rushes to the restroom to check his weight after complaining, but despite being on a diet, he hasn't dropped any. After that, he has breakfast with his wife Heidi and their daughter Linda. He lies and claims to weigh 297 when Heidi asks what his weight is, which he had last week. It implies that he has been putting on weight instead. Billy then appears in court to represent Richie, a mob leader, his client. Billy rapidly wins the case despite the fact that the man is genuinely reprehensible and ought to be in jail. Billy later finds out that the gypsy caravan has made its home at the public park across the street when he arrives at his law firm's office. Billy doesn't appear excited when a gypsy woman hands him a brochure and urges him to join, even though everyone else seems to be enjoying the games and music. Billy then climbs the stairs to his office, which wears him out completely. Billy's supervisor leads him to the window, where she gestures for him to give a quarter to a gypsy girl named Gina and asks her to lift her skirt. Billy finds this concept offensive. Billy runs into Judge Rossington later on when he exits the office. Judge Rossington is waiting for the police to remove the gypsies since he finds them repulsive. When they eventually go, Officer Hopley informs Rossington that the gypsies have rented some acreage at the nearby farm. Gina approaches Billy before she leaves, pulls a penny from her cleavage, and lifts her skirt flirtatiously. But then she spits on the ground and raises her finger abruptly before returning to her family. Billy and Heidi head to a restaurant in the evening to celebrate his triumph with some friends, but as soon as the server serves the desserts, Heidi begs him to leave. While driving home, Heidi placefully engages Billy in inappropriate behavior in an attempt to divert his attention from thoughts of food. As the daughter learns she is chilly, the gypsy chief Tadzu and his daughter are purchasing medication at the neighborhood drugstore. Billy's automobile is approaching her as she crosses the street to retrieve her coat from her car. Billy doesn't see the woman because he is preoccupied with Heidi's dirty adoration. As a result, he hits her by mistake and quickly kills her. Billy attends an inquest the next day. According to Hopley's testimony, Billy was sober and driving below the speed limit. Thus, Rossington determines that Tadzu's daughter's death was an accident. Billy escapes punishment because Hopley and Rossington are genuinely lying to him in order to assist him. Outside, Tadzu comes up to Billy and abruptly touches his face with his thumb before calling him thinner and walking away. A few days later, Billy weighs himself and is surprised to find 283 pounds, which defies logic given that he has never stopped eating like a pig. Billy later plays golf with various buddies, including Dr. Mike and Rossington. Billy has lost weight, which is evident from the way people see him, yet one man continues to make fun of him. Billy, unable to do so when he was bigger, turns around and gives the person the back of his hand while abusing him. Subsequently, at the changing area, Rossington requests that Mike examine an odd growth on his skin. Mike tells him to apply an ointment and attributes it to stress. Billy then weighs himself once more, and to his surprise, he has dropped an additional two pounds since the morning. Rossington informs Billy that Tadzu approached him as well and touched him on the place, which now appears strange as the guys are taking a shower. As the days go by, Billy continues to shed 25 pounds. Heidi encourages him to see Mike since this is happening too quickly and she is beginning to fear that it could be an early symptom of cancer. After Billy undergoes several tests, Mike reviews the results and tells Billy that everything is fine. Billy then visits his tailor, who measures him in order to make him a completely new clothing. Billy notices he's down to 230 pounds when he steps on a scale to double check since the figures are so different. Billy just informs the tailor that he doesn't like his ways when he asks for his secret. Billy overindulges in food that evening since it seems that eating is what helps him lose weight. When Linda's dad makes light of her fears, she becomes agitated and runs to her room. Billy just won't stop eating, and when Heidi chastises him, he tells her that he lost even more weight by skipping lunch at work, which makes him believe that eating is necessary to maintain a steady weight. He also holds Heidi responsible for the mishap, but she disputes this, saying he never stopped her. She also says she will send Linda to stay at her aunt's place so she won't have to put up with him acting this way. Later, at a restaurant, Billy runs into Mike, who informs him that after consulting with an expert, Billy doesn't have a tapeworm and that visiting a clinic is his only option. Rossington's wife Lita is seen by Billy at that point, dining by herself and seemed dejected. Mike responds by telling Billy that Rossington is out of town visiting his sister. Billy visits Rossington's home after supper since he is aware that Rossington is a single man. When Billy notes his drastic weight reduction, Lita initially tells a falsehood, claiming her husband is visiting family out of town. She then assumes Billy was influenced by Tadzu. Rossington is visiting a clinic to receive treatment for his skin ailment. She continues that Rossington's hands turned into claws and his skin turned to scales when Tadzu touched him and murmured the word lizard. Lita is certain that she and her husband are under a gypsy curse, but Billy disputes the existence of curses. Lita becomes frightened and throws Billy out, accusing him of being the one who killed the gypsy lady and causing the curses. Billy corrects her, saying Rossington is equally accountable for hiding Billy's misdeeds. 
After Lita flings beer in his face, Billy walks away and makes the decision to phone Richie to find out whether gypsy curses actually exist. When Richie questions her Italian mother about them, she affirms that they are genuine and says that the curse can only be lifted by the one who placed it. Later, when Billy tells Heidi about the curse when she is driving him to the clinic, she finds the idea absurd and doesn't believe it. Heidi and Billy are still at odds about the situation, and Heidi narrowly avoids getting hit by a truck on the road. Billy remains in the clinic for a few days as the medical staff subjects him to several tests. But since the outcomes are consistently flawless, they are unable to provide an explanation. Billy eventually grows bored and goes to see Hopley, who has also been cursed and has unsightly pimples all over his skin. Hopley hands Billy his rifle and demands that he exact retribution, but Billy says that Tadzu must live in order to lift the curse. Billy flees the home, nevertheless, as Hopley makes it clear that Tadzu will never be of use to them and becomes quite hostile. Hopley self-deleted at that very time when he heard the pistol go off inside the home. Billy begins to think that Mike and Heidi could be having an affair after he returns home and witnesses Mike leaving his residence. While Heidi speaks to him, he heads inside to start getting supper, but he can't quit thinking about her and Mike together. Billy tells Heidi he's being wiped and that he's not going back to the clinic because he's cursed. Billy then throws food at Heidi and shouts that he's being deleted. Billy hires a detective the following day, and he finds the gypsy caravan and lets Billy know they're headed to the main coast. Billy returns home later and discovers Heidi and Mike talking about maybe filing a lawsuit against him. Billy goes to Maine to locate the gypsies, even though he promises them he agrees to return to the clinic. Upon arriving at the caravan site, he discovers it is unoccupied, so he proceeds to speak with the realtor who leased the land to them. Billy will have to pay the realtor or the realtor will call his wife if he needs information, the realtor explains, adding that Mike and Heidi had posted wanted posters for Billy. Billy visits a motel after purchasing the man's quiet and notices a billboard promoting a gypsy festival. Heading there right away, he discovers Tadzu and Gina selling ill dolls of Rossington, Hopley, and him. After Gina hurls a Billy doll at him and pursues him around the fair, Billy flees and is saved by Rossington, whose skin is now entirely covered in scales. Gina uses her slingshot to smash the car's windows, but the men escape before she can do any damage to them. But Rossington is going too quickly, and as they get to the bridge, they notice Tadzu's fire vehicle pulling up beside them. When Rossington tries to stop the vehicle but is unable to do so, the truck strikes them. Conversely, a Tadzu-driven school bus arrives and collides with the vehicle as well. Billy discovers it was all a nightmare when he awakens in the hotel at that very time. He attempts to call Rossington out of concern, but Lita answers and informs him that her husband has self-deleted. Billy later discovers the fair, but it's deserted. A guy who answers his questions informs him the route the caravan went. Billy travels the path in the nighttime and ultimately comes upon the gypsy camp. When Billy lifts his shirt, Gina refers to him as a demon, oblivious to the fact that he resembles a skeleton. Billy falls on his knees in desperation and begins pleading with Tadzu, but Tadzu merely pushes him away and threatens to make things worse. Tadzu claims he will never be able to lift the curse. Billy becomes upset and claims he curses the gypsies back, but all they do is make fun of him. Gina throws a stone at Billy because he won't go, and it pierces through his hand. Billy needs assistance wrapping his hand, so he hastily returns to the motel. When he phones Richie, he gets the give-ahead to go to his own summer home and a doctor who knows when to shut up. The doctor offers him some medication and bands his hand, but he is helpless to relieve the pain. When Richie sees Billy the next day, he weighs less than 130 pounds. He also tells Billy that Heidi has consented to have Billy committed to a mental health facility by signing a legal document. Richie enters the gypsy camp covertly in the middle of the night with the intention of helping Billy. He poisons all the dogs and leaves a message pleading with them to remove the curse. Later, he makes a stop at a gas station where he pays a young man to notify him if the gypsies relocate. The man gives Richie a call the next day to let him know about the new gypsy camp. Gina and her husband attack him when he hangs up. To carry out the plan, Richie receives two boxes containing guns in the interim. Billy then notices a car outside bearing a note from the gypsies, and he discovers the young man's body as he looks out to sea. In response to Richie's message, he has the word never written on his forehead and a chicken head in his mouth. Ignoring Billy's cries not to murder anyone, Richie becomes enraged and takes out his guns, preparing for retaliation. Richie enters the gypsy camp covertly in the evening, takes out Gina's husband, and then starts shooting. Numerous vagrants meet their demise, and many of their cars are wrecked, one even blows up and catches flames. Then Richie propels Gina's husband ahead, and in the shadows, his family members shoot him down because they believe him to be the enemy. The gang discovers a message on the man's corpse pleading for the removal of the curse after Richie departs. The cops visit the camp the following day to conduct an investigation. Billy can observe Richie posing as an FBI agent as he talks to Gina and persuades her to follow him inside a barn house. Richie pushes Gina and pretends to throw a liquid at her face in the barn, scaring her, but in reality, he's just lying. 
Richie strikes Gina in the head, knocking her down despite her irate attempt to protect herself. Billy arrives at that same moment to stop Richie from murdering her, so Richie instead gives Tadzu a message for him to meet them at the lighthouse in two hours and places the jar with genuine acid on her forehead. Once the guys are gone, Gina hurries back to her people, moving her arms very gently to remove the acid. Tadzu visits the lighthouse two hours later because he doesn't want Richie to murder Gina. Billy is cursed, and Tadzu stabs him in the hand and spills the blood into a pie in order to break the curse. Billy needs to serve the pie to someone else in order to murder them because the filling now contains the curse. Billy contacts Linda before he leaves for home, telling her to spend the night at her friend's place. A few days later, Billy comes home in better shape and offers Heidi the pie as payback for her adultery. When Billy awakens the following morning, he is relieved to see Heidi's decaying corpse beside him. He even gives it a mouthful of kisses to sample the sweetness. But when he comes downstairs, he finds Linda has returned and eaten the pie as well. Billy is considering eating pie after she goes for school since he is feeling so bad, but Mike stops over to see how the family is doing. Billy invites him in for some pie because he wants more retribution. 